Welcome everyone. I'm Brian DeVore, Open Professional Development and Outreach Manager, and we're here today with our Adapted Physical Education team for National Field Day. We're really excited about National Field Day coming up, and we had a great event last year in 2020, but uh, this year what we decided to do was be more inclusive because we had requests from teachers all across the country and all over the world for some resources to help their Adapted Physical Education students be more successful on National Field Day. So in response to your requests, we went ahead and formed a fantastic team of adaptive physical education teachers that we brought together and they worked on our national field day events and made them more inclusive and worked with them to uh, help our adapted physical education students. So I'm quickly going to introduce the team to you and then we'll dive right into today's session. Uh, first from Minnesota, we have Sue Tarr, and Sue uh, has uh, worked with me before in the past on several different projects and appreciate all of her contributions to adapted physical education and preparing students to work with adapted physical education uh, stu students working with students. Her students graduate and become teachers. So thank you so much, Sue, for being a part of the team. We also have Open National Trainer Tracy Charlo, who's with us, Tracy from New York State, and Tracy uh, really spearheaded a lot of the efforts behind getting this group together, and we appreciate her championing adapted physical education for open and physical education teachers all around the world. Linda Hilgenbrink is with us from Texas. Uh, Linda is uh, like a, all of our other uh, members of our committee, uh, a national uh, award winner, and we appreciate Linda joining our team from the great state of Texas. Uh, she's been a champion for adapted physical education students for many, many years, and I've had the opportunity to admire her work for a long time. And then from right here in Georgia, where I live, we have Bethany Chapel. Bethany from the Fulton County Schools here in Georgia. Uh, Bethany has been a wonderful, wonderful adapted physical education teacher and uh, one of the youngster on our crew. And we appreciate her uh, adapting to the technology and, and working with all of us and keeping us all in line with all the technological aspects that we needed to utilize in order to uh, make this project happen. So thanks so much to all of you for joining our team. This has been a joy to work with and I think everyone will find your resources to be absolutely splendid and very helpful for their students. So we are going to go to the National Field Day website. And on the National Field Day website, we are in the Event Center. So this is where you'll find all of our resources for National Field Day. If you scroll down in the Event Center, we're gonna focus on this section here. This is our Universal Design section. Um, and you see that some of the links are live, some of the links are coming soon. So this is under construction, but you can access all of the complete card set for at least one of the sections right now. The others will be coming shortly. So this universal design section is meant for our adapted physical education students. So we are going to dive in. If you click on your complete card set, it's going to go ahead and pull up the event cards. So these event cards are going to be uh, noted with the UDL banner in the upper right hand corner that lets you know that those are for our adapted physical education students. Now for uh, our first section, we're gonna have Linda Hilgenbrink from Texas and she is going to tell us a little bit about these cards, how they were developed and some of the adaptations that the committee had to make as they went through their creation process. Go ahead, Linda. Okay, thank you, Brian uh, and APE team. Thrilled to be here, thank you so much. Uh, and so I'm gonna target uh, our parents, uh, fellow adapted physical education specialist teachers, uh, and even our general physical education teachers, in case this is new to you, to assure that uh, you, your child is included um, or to best connect with your child's efforts. Um, each, I want you to take a look at the card. Each of the National Field Day cards are designed to offer, you have, you have of course, the activity title. I want you to notice underneath that title, uh, don't forget that there's the YouTube link this is essential and uh, really important, uh, even for myself. When I was looking at these as we were in, going on in this endeavor, it was invaluable to be able to look at the YouTube link. It shows uh, one of the open national trainers uh, demonstrating the activity. It's fantastic. I encourage you to watch it. Um, and, and then so the goal of the activity, uh, it's what we're targeting this, this activity to be all about. Um, you're of course going to see the equipment that you perhaps uh, might need, and you see some 
um, other suggestions. We don't want you to be limited with the equipment that uh, your child could potentially benefit from using. So um, you'll see uh, how the activity is originally designed and then some alternative forms of equipment that you can tap into and use. Bottom line is we want your child to be successful, your student to be successful. We want all of our kids to be successful and enjoy these activities. You'll see steps and directions on how to play the activity. Uh, we removed specific disability um, uh, content or, or conditions because part of UDL is, is to uh, provide more global uh, uh, terms and global assistance um, and to, to make sure that the playing field is uh, for everyone, including everyone, and not being so tied to specificities. Um, uh, we went to, uh, for example, uh, global terms instead of run, because perhaps your child is unable to perform a run or their run is their own run. How did they move? So we've changed the language from run to move. Move in your way. Um, I also notice on many of the, of the cards for me, they talk about scoring. A scoring, taking points, noting those things, um, you know, and as a parent or as an AP specialist or even a general PE teacher, we want you to realize too that scoring for some of our kids may not be that important. Just the effort and, and being included and participating and doing their best might be just as, as, as that valuable, um, you know, but uh, for those of our kids who like to have things scored, by all means, we encourage you to do that as well. Uh, I think I'd like to close just by saying it was our goal to make sure that your child was offered an opportunity to participate and be included in the National Field Day event. Bottom line, we hope that along the way they have fun uh, and also can find success in each one of their efforts. And so with that, I'm going to turn it back over to my other colleagues, uh, Brian and my other adapted PE friends that are here today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Linda. And you made a great point about the YouTube videos up there. So those will be hot linked. Um, the videos are in production as of the date of our recording here in late March. So uh, look for those recordings to be up shortly with the YouTube videos. So thanks so much for pointing that out. And I guess another uh, wonderful thing that you pointed out there, Linda, is you know the participation by all and, and don't be limited by certain equipment. If there's another piece of equipment that you as the teacher or you as the parent feel might work better for your student in order to have more success, don't be afraid to, sh to, to substitute that equipment in. It's all about that piece of student success, correct? Absolutely, yeah. Thanks so much. So uh, Linda alluded to the section on the card there with UDL mods is, is how it's labeled. And that stands for the Universal Design for Learning Modifications. So, um, you know, some of you may be familiar with that term, some may not. Uh, and we have Sue Tarr from Minnesota. Sue's going to go over the UDL mods, what that means and, and how to use those. Go ahead, Sue. Thanks, Brian, and, and thanks, Linda. You hit on a lot of concepts I wanted to cover in UDL. So just real briefly, universal design for learning, the primary focus is to try to come up with ways to support all students in terms of their learning. So even though we purposely focused on students with disabilities, it could be really for all kids. So we're providing uh, all movers many opportunities to learn in many different ways. And so thinking globally and thinking broadly that as Brian and Linda both said, if these pieces of equipment don't work for your student, maybe something else will. For example, the second bullet, uh, suspending an object uh, on a string or with a rope or from a tree, you know, something that removes the mobility of that object uh, to help them be more successful to contact it, that might be something very simple and easy to do. So in general, these modifications on the card just provide a few more ways to think about how can I help all kids be successful? And it may be that you're looking at the environment. So do I need to, to modify the environment, make it less large of a space that they do their task? Maybe fewer distractions, maybe I'm doing things with only a few students versus many students 
in that environment. Maybe I need a lot of students. Maybe I don't work well by myself. So I need to have partners or other students. We could also modify uh, with the task itself. So instead of, as Linda said, um, running, I'm just simply moving and maybe uh, I'm a, a, a mobility impaired. And so I'm going to move my arms or I'm going to move my head or I'm going to move my body uh, in a different way. And then the last area that we can think about UDL is with the equipment itself. And I think we've talked enough about that already. Bigger, brighter, slower moving objects, different shaped objects, different textured objects. On this particular card, the use of a, a fan or a leaf blower to keep the object up in the air uh, could be something very easy to manipulate. So if we have a fan on the ground or the floor and we, we put the object on top of the fan that's blowing up to the ceiling, that in itself will keep the object up. So by all means, this list is not inclusive. There are hundreds of modifications that we could provide for each of the cards, but clearly Brian said we only could list a few. We can't take over the whole card. So uh, you definitely will need to use your imagination or talk to other people, talk to you know, other students or ask the student themselves, how, how can we make this more fun for you? Is there something, is a different piece of equipment that I could use that would help you be successful or have more fun? Uh, parents, maybe ask other siblings, ask other parents, use your resources, try to create um, opportunities with equipment, with the environment or the task that would help make students be as successful and have fun in National Field Day. Back to you, Brian. Thanks, Sue. And you made some fantastic points there about, um, you know, changing the equipment and, and that this isn't necessarily an exhaustive list, that you may have to think a little bit outside the box. Um, you know, all of our adapted physical education students, there are different things that make them successful. And, and asking the student is another brilliant point. Um, sometimes you can ask the student, you know, if they're struggling with something, well, what, what can I do to help? What would make it better for you? What would make it easier? Or what would make you more successful? And some students will be able to to, to tell you, um, you know, exactly what it is that would help them out. So thank you so much, Sue. Appreciate you being a part of the committee this year. So um, in our cards for each event, there's a parent teacher card, but then we also have a student card this year. So uh, for each event, we've created two different cards, the parent teacher card, which we saw before, and now our student card, which is up on the screen right now. So uh, for our student card, this is meant to be used uh, by a parent or teacher with the particular student. And we're thrilled this year that we were able to have a partnership with Boardmaker. Uh, Boardmaker uh, comes up with those great symbols. You see the four boxes there that are used with special education uh, students and used by special education teachers and adapted physical education teachers uh, you know, across the country. So we uh, were able to contact them and they were willing to reach out and, and be a partner with us. And we're super excited about this. And right now I'm going to have Bethany Chapel from Georgia, and she's going to talk a little bit about the student card and board maker and how to utilize this feature of National Field Day. Bethany? Thanks, Brian. So first I'm going to talk a little bit about board maker itself. And board maker is a complete uh, tool, special education platform that supports communication, access to social emotional needs, for students. And what it offers is accessibility in any form by providing the software and symbols and curriculum tools to empower student learning. Now getting into the specific task card itself, we use these symbols to make the visual card that matched the field day task. So we took the overall design of the instruction and kind of just put it in a simple visual format for the student to be able to follow the instructions. Now you can see on this card, it's just got that four boxes straight across. So that's how they would progress through the, through the task as if you're reading the visual from right or from left to right. Now, additional cards you'll see um, where the visuals actually go down and those show where a modification could be made. So just for an example, here we show the balloon, but 
let's say um, on a different card, you may have balloon, then ball, then maybe scarves. So you're given three different visuals for possible equipment that you could use. So that's how you would read the card. The instructions go across, but there's additional modifications below if your student requires those modifications and also those visuals to support them throughout the task. Now, this card is truly meant to be with you on field day or when you're participating in these games with the student, as opposed to the parent teacher card, you know, that's really for the person who's setting up the field day, planning the field day. We want this card to be at an, an access for the student so that it's there as their research resource as their tool. That's where it's really going to empower them to be independent. And the more students can do on their own and learn on their own, the more fun that they're going to have and empower they're going to feel. So be sure to have this card with you ready to go with your student when you're going to start your games. Brian, back to you. Thanks, Bethany. So one quick question. I know um, a lot of physical education teachers, if they're teaching regular physical education classes and they have adapted physical education students pushed into their classroom, a lot of them may have paraprofessionals or teacher's aides that come with them. So it, would it be handy for you to have copies of, of this card ready for those paraprofessionals or teacher's aides on National Field Day? Absolutely. Um, some different ways you could do it depending on you know, your school and your setting and the way you have field day set up, you could make sure that each para has a copy ready to go with them or leave a couple copies at the station ready to go. I know it can be a lot. They may have a lot of stuff to carry with them, especially if you're doing that face-to-face, -face, um, you know, it, and different students have a lot of different things that have to go with them as they travel throughout the school environment. So yeah, definitely either the paraprofessional having it or the teacher having it on them, or even better, having a few at the station um, for the teachers to be able to access and leave there. Perfect. Thanks so much for shedding some light on that. And also, um, you know, just a, as a former teacher myself, I know sometimes um, some of the adapted physical education students do communicate through their tablets and, and have different things. So it would be possible then to have those downloaded and ready to go on uh, on a tablet so that the, the student would be able to access it that way as well. So perfect. Thanks so much, Bethany. Appreciate your help with that. And, and Bethany mentioned something about social and emotional learning and, and having the students be successful. And that transitions us perfectly perfectly into our social and emotional learning section. So um, we have our partners, the Look for the Good Project that are working with National Field Day this year, and, and they've come up with uh, a unique concept called the Charging Station to help all students uh, work with their social and emotional learning on National Field Day because we know it can be an event that charges up the emotions, sometimes positive emotions, sometimes not so positive emotions. So Tracy Charlotte is going to talk a little bit about the Charging Station and, and what that's all about, and then uh, we'll walk you through some of the resources that are available here for our adapted physical education students. Tracy? Hi, Brian. Thank you. Thanks to team, too. Great APE team we have here. So um, the intention of the wiggled um, jars and the cha charging station are to uh, address social-emotional learning and um, address emotions. So um, what I love about these um, is that we are teaching the kids that it is okay to have emotions. We all have emotions. It's a, a biological response that our body has to an, uh, stimuli in the environment. And it actually is good because it keeps us safe. It keeps us prepared to react to certain things. But what we can take do from here is teach them um, tools on how to address the emotions. What are we gonna do? Um, it's okay to have emotions, but we really need to focus on how we're gonna um, respond to the emotions. So th the wiggle jars actually have uh, physical activity movement cards in them that, that address um, each emotion. Uh, there's four emotions that we're going to be addressing, I believe, in the National Field Day. And um, so once we address those emotions, we can actually figure out ways to uh, move and help our body um, acclimate and recharge and change and, you know, proactively um, uh, create a method of dealing with the emotions in an appropriate, positively based manner. So um, then once we've done that, 
um, the stu and the students have choice. What we've done for modifications is that um, we've given the students choice. We know that's gonna create buy-in and um, their ability to um, get really into it and tap into that, um, I can do it type uh, attitude. Um, and we also, what we addressed in our modifications was um, that we worked a little bit more into the proprioceptive uh, needs of our students with maybe for instance, an overly excited, um, the deep tissue joint impact that we can uh, create from doing things like animal walks and um, giving ourselves big hugs and wiggling. And, and then all we really, really enjoyed and think it's important to focus on taking slow, deep breaths to um, calm ourselves at the end of, as, as one of the choices. It's, I, we think it's the, like maybe one of the most important choices. We left it as the last choice, hopefully that, so that all the kids would buy into that. But um, yeah, we, we just think it's really important um, identifying first, identifying the emotions and then learning um, some amazing tools and how to deal with the emotions. Thanks, Tracy. And uh, we just like with the event cards, we have uh, the parent teacher card that, that we had previously. And then this is an example of a student card. And, and just to, to highlight a little bit about what Bethany said with Boardmaker, um, you see the options going uh, vertically uh, underneath bounce. It gives a, a couple different options of how students can move to bounce. And then same thing with different animal walks, but walks them through going horizontally across the screen, the progression of the five different choices that they have in order to go ahead and deal with their emotions as far as with the excitement. So I I guess the biggest thing is, um, Tracy, if uh, you could chime in once more, these five options that are right here in the middle of the screen, those are the things that the team really addressed in order to, to make them more inclusive for adapted students, correct? Correct. And um, what, what we, each of these actions, um, physical activity movements, are in direct correlation with the feeling of being overexcited. And another thing I really, really love about um, this whole process is the next step is right along our best practices in teaching concepts where we're going to reflect on how did you feel when we did that? So it's going to, we're, what we're really doing, Brian, with this is we're going to actually be giving kids a nice little toolkit to take out into the real world with them wherever they go. And that was going to be another point that I was going to make was that, you know, just because you use this on National Field Day, if you have a student who comes into your classroom, whether it's adapted physical education or, or pushed into a regular physical education classroom, who typically is excited or deals with frustration a lot, you can use this as part of your regular teaching toolkit from this point forward. It doesn't have to be just because you used it on field day uh, that you would be, uh, you know, done with it at that point and couldn't use it again. So I, I think it's going to be a wonderful tool for adapted physical education teachers, even parents, and, and of course, uh, regular physical education teachers to use moving forward. So, um, you know, I, I just, uh, I guess in closing, wanted to make sure that I thank this team for all their hard work. They've taken resources, um, you know, for physical education and, and that were designed for uh, a, one particular group of students and, and have modified them for a large, even larger group of students, because we know that, that the, the different things that we see in adapted physical education and special education, there's no one size fits all. It has to be almost a, a one by one and dealing on a case by case basis to find the thing that, that works and that brings about student success for these students. So um, once again, as we finish things up, I cannot thank this group, Sue, Tracy, Linda, and Bethany, cannot thank you enough for all your hard work and, and jumping right on board with National Field Day and with Open and all your contributions for this event to make it a success. So appreciate all your work and we look forward to hearing more from you in the future.